Well, hello and welcome to the Wednesday edition of DC Today. We are over the halfway point of this week. And it was another odd day in markets. I want to give you a little breakdown and a couple comments on some of the economic data that has come through. First and foremost, just in terms of what happened today in the markets, the Dow closed up 39 points, but it had been down about not quite 250. And so around halfway through the day, it sort of hit a lower point and then rebounded off of that, then kind of zigged and zagged in the last hour and a half and closed near the high of the day. Like I said, up just about 40 points, but um, from its low of the day up nearly 300. The S&P was up uh, 0.28% and the NASDAQ was up almost 1%, not quite. So continued rally and all that stuff. Uh, the 10 year, the yield went up four and a half basis points to 3.8 percent. Um, and the top sectors today were con communication services and consumer discretionary, both up exactly 1.16 percent. Energy was the worst performing sector, down 1.78 percent. Crude oil itself closed still at 78 and a half. Um, and so we're talking about down 0.7 percent. Um, so in terms of some of the inputs today in the markets, the retail sales were up 3% in January, um, far more than expected, almost double. Uh, now, that includes things like grocery and gas stations and whatnot. And so core retail sales, where you take out some of that food, beverage and energy, um, were up 1.7% in the month, which was still about 70% um, better than the 1% that had been expected. The main thing that I don't know um, what to uh, say about is that department stores were exponentially higher. Their percentage month over month growth was massive and I don't have the foggiest idea why that may have been, um, but it certainly was a very strong retail number and some might call it a non-recessionary retail sales number. Uh, industrial production was unchanged in January, and that's not good. Um, it, it, we were expecting about a 0.5% rebound, and it had been down quite a bit in um, the December month that reported in January. This is the January month reporting in February. And uh, on a last three-month basis, the annualized drop in industrial production is 6%. So that's all quite sizable. Then, as I read maybe my third report on the day about this industrial production number, I see that utilities were down 9.9% on the month in January, a very disproportionate uh, uh, drop in and a well over 100% contributor to the monthly number. So then you say, okay, well, this is basically the worst month for a utilities output since the Great Depression, what's going on here? And it kind of makes the rest of the data look a lot better. And it really just has to do with, there was heavy utilities output in December that in what was a very cold weather month. And then January was a significantly warmer month. And there was a lot less output on the utility side of things across the country in January than there was December. It's sort of an anomaly. It's not anything I would extract any economic optimism from but it does cause us to reinterpret some of the other numbers in industrial production. Home builder sentiment picked up a little bit in uh, January. It's still below the baseline 50. It's nothing to write home about. Uh, prospector buyer, prospective buyer traffic remains quite low, but some of the current conditions and future outlook uh, expectations did improve, which is, which is positive for the home builders. Um, that's kind of the summary. There's a few economic data points that came out today. Uh, reasonably boring day in markets, but to the upside and following up with how we responded with the consumer price index number yesterday. Um, I think everyone kind of knows where we are in the, in the market right now. Um, I did get asked a question in the Ask David today that I thought is useful for better understanding on our equity process, equity management, buy and sell discipline considerations and so I direct you to the dctoday.com to read that and other than that we will uh, be back tomorrow with yet another uh, DC Today and of course on Friday I will have the Dividend Cafe for you with a 
special edition dedicated to more discussion of the state of the energy sector. Thank you for listening to, watching, and reading the DC Today. Mm -hmm.